first time team that you couldn't quite get away from them today until the very end. No, they were uh, they were tough, man. They had some really skilled guys, and uh, they transitioned the puck really well. So I, I think our guys kind of backed off a little bit, and uh, we're worried about that. So, uh, but we had a lot of nervous kids out there today too. So that first game always a difficult game to play, and uh, when you find out a team is pretty good, I, it's a little scarier. So that was uh, part of how it all pulled for us. I feel like you were seeing what you wanted to see out of your team, and they'd settled in and were playing the style and the type of game you want. I think we started playing a third period right in the third beginning. Period. I thought the third period we started to loosen up a little bit and play the way we normally play. We made some good plays and we had our, kind of had control of the period. And, and uh, uh, I thought it went really well there. That's when they started to really move a little bit. Coach, right now is it, uh, is it more a feeling of elation or, or relief? Uh, survival is the name of the game here. You know, it's really a battle. And uh, that first game is a tough game for kids to play. We have a bunch of kids that haven't been here before and played in this game, in this atmosphere, in this rink, and all the lead up to it. And, uh, you know, it's something they have to learn to deal with. And this has happened to us before. We've had, we've had trouble in the first game before, playing our game, getting our legs going and whatnot. So um, it's nice to survive and get going to the next day. I mean, you really feel part of the tournament if you can win that first game. So it's a, it's a big win for us. Coach, do you feel like your team maybe has a different role this year? Where maybe coming into this one, a lot of people consider you to be the, I guess, the favorite. Uh, do you kind of sense that in, with your team at all? Uh, not so much the team, but certainly with uh, the uh, media and the people. You know, like uh, you know, it's a little different deal for us this year, for sure. I mean, we've always come here uh, as kind of an underdog to the, uh, you know, St. Thomas and Breck and whatever. Uh, team was the hot team of that of the year, you know, so we've always kind of come in uh, Knowing that that was uh, a game that we would have to really be up for or get to and, and, uh, and This year it's a little different people are talking about us more as a lead team and East Grand and, and, and us, you know, so uh, it's, it's definitely different. It's definitely different for for me I know personally as, as the coach I can feel the difference. I don't know about the kids. Maybe they're feeling that same pressure We haven't really addressed that but uh, that could easily be part of what's going on. Players, I guess, for you guys then, do you, do you kind of feel that pressure, I guess, of being one of the favorites heading in this time? Um, <clears throat> not, not a ton. I mean, we just like to get out there and play our game, play how we try and play how we've been playing all season. But I mean, it's, it's obviously there. Like, we kind of know that, like, our, we're playing for our fans and everything, but uh, kind of just want to go out there and be who we are and play our game and our style. Nate, you played this last year. Is the message or the tone that the coaches are, are using with you guys any, in any way different this year? Uh, not so much. It's like, like I said, uh, they expect us to go out there and play our game, and for the most part, as we we go and play our game as much as we can. Bruce, the, not only is this team experienced, but you just saw a first-time state tournament entrant. Next round, you'll either see a first-timer or, or a team that hasn't been here since '95. What are you trying to get? You know, you said today you didn't get your game to about the third period. How are you going to try to do differently against a similar kind of underappreciated opponent next round? Well, I don't know. I will, it's, well, it's have to, uh, we'll probably talk about it. We'll practice tomorrow. We'll go through some things. Uh, it's just, you know, how that is. Up, the most of that's up to the kids. They got to they gotta, they gotta deal with this stuff. And uh, we try to help the best we can. And uh, that's just the nature of the game. You know, the beauty of hockey is. And I've always felt this way. Anybody can win because the, the goalie factor, you know, the underdog factor can always win. And then uh, the team that's supposed to win gets uptight and nervous, and, uh, and you can take it to them. And, I mean, we've done that here a few times with other teams when we've been the underdog. So it's a whole different deal for us to uh, deal with, and we will try to do our best. We've had other times when we've been here where we didn't play that first game to our, to our standard of play. And uh, the next game we played uh, really great. So... In fact, the year we won it in 07, we really, really fought the first game, and, uh, and I've never seen our team play like that at that time. And, uh, and then the next two games, we played great. So uh, I, I don't put a total lot of stock in it. I think once they get through this once, I think, I think they'll be good to go. It's almost nice, Coach, to have the wake-up call in the first round to kind of get you going moving forward in the tournament. Yeah, it was nice to get the first goal, and uh, we had a couple other chances there, you know, and didn't get them, and they tied us up, and, and uh, you know, that, that put a little fear into our boys, and, uh, and we 
and got that one back right away. So the period I was really kind of disappointed in was the second period. I thought we really backed off. I, I didn't like that. That's just so uncharacteristic of our team. We're, we usually try to play more of an aggressive, attacking, in-your-face kind of game, and uh, we weren't doing that. Neat, obviously, uh, the first line you guys you guys have been playing so well. Maybe you could just talk about that first goal, what your, what your thought was, how important it was to get that first goal in the pass from, from uh, Ryan. Actually, uh, to be honest, Ryan scored that goal. It hit their defenseman in front. But I mean, um, just like the section final game, just getting pucks to the net. Uh, he, I think he's got a turnover loose puck right in the right in the dot there, and he tried to throw it up front. I think, and but just getting pucks towards the net and in that area, good things can happen. So it just bounced right off their defenseman and went in. Other questions? You know, I, I want to say one thing. I think a lot of what happened there is, is the other team. I mean, they're pretty good. And uh, they got some really attacking players. And I think the guys got out there and found out they were that way. They transitioned the puck great, uh, attacked us hard. And uh, had some really skilled guys that made some good plays. Uh, we had a hard time with their power play. I mean, they just moved the puck great. And, uh, and usually we're great at killing penalties. And, and they just moved the puck, bing, 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 goal. It was, uh, it was pretty, pretty nice to see as far as that goes. But... Um, you know, they're a skilled team. They're, they're a dangerous team. You know? uh, they're probably not as deep as us, but they, uh, they uh, certainly play, I'll tell you that. What were your overall impressions first time in game one? Didn't get the results you wanted, but you know, where are you at with it? Uh, I, I told the guys, uh, my voice is kind of hoarse because just kind of trying to get these guys to keep the lead. I'm just so proud of these guys. Um, we came up here, and obviously we have a lot of people who talk not very highly of our section or the area of our state and who we play. And, I really felt that we came and we showed some people today that, you know, just because we're in the corner of the state that has historically been a basketball country, we, we can play hockey too. I give Hermantown all the credit in the world. They are probably the perennial power of Class A, and I thought that we played with them. I thought we scared them, and I, I still, I got to see a replay because I swear that that one should have made it 5-4. I don't know how that puck didn't get in the net, and who knows what would have happened at that point. So I told the guys I'm just really extremely proud, not only for Laverne, but for Section 3A for Southwest Minnesota, that the state is doing the right thing by letting us have a section and letting the game grow down in our area. They had the quick start. Uh, what did you do to calm down your bench and just get back to business and then eventually tie it? Uh, the biggest thing to tell them was just, you know, get through your nerves. Um, obviously, we were very fortunate. We got a power play. Our power play is very efficient. I thought they played extremely well today. I mean, they were pretty spot on. They moved the puck really well. We got some really high-end kids. Um, I know I know Southwest Minnesota, sometimes we look at points and think, ah, oh, they're not really that good. They don't play nobody. But we have some legitimate hockey players, and we were able to get that opportunity. We were able to bury a puck. And as soon as it's 1-1, our bench erupted, and you could tell we're going to have a hockey game today. Gunnar, how did that team uh, to you match up in physical strength compared to what you had seen throughout the year? Could that have been the strongest team you've seen? For sure. Um, we tried not to be scared, but I know some people were. Um, it was fun and physical, but they were definitely the hardest and biggest team we played. What are you thinking, Gunnar, when you, you know, it's, a, it's a, an own goal 30 seconds in? I mean, everything you would not want to have happen happened. What was your thought about you know, how, how this team overcome that? Um, we've had adversity all year, so uh, the first 30 seconds they scored, and I mean, we just came back to the bench. We said, "Let's go, get it together, get your legs going," and we proved them. Came back and scored a goal. Derek Bruce said that he doesn't feel like Hermantown got to its game until about the third period. When, when did you feel like you overcame the nerves and, and were playing what you're used to seeing? I mean, I thought it was after we got the power play, we scored that goal, we started to really start to fly. And um, yeah, I would agree with uh, Bruce that Hermantown really came hard in that third period. They brought it to another level. But I thought we were, we were getting some opportunities there. Um, we knew we had some quick forwards. I didn't know if we could get loose necessarily like we usually do down in, in southern Minnesota, but we did. I mean, I was kind of surprised how many opportunities our, our young guys and our older guys had on odd man rushes. And it just really came down to, you know, there's puck luck out there. We had some chances. They had some chances they missed as well. but. Um, like I said, we kind of thought after that power play goal, we can play with these guys. We kind of relaxed, and I really thought we had some good opportunities. Was that about as much time as you spent in the defensive zone in a game? For, I mean, in proportion? And if so, do you think that made an impact that you, you were probably on attacking all the time? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, we don't see the quality of a Hermantown every day down in our area of the state. We haven't seen anything like that all year. Um, 
it made a difference. They obviously came really hard. We knew going in, we've watched tape, we've talked about it, we kind of tried to really get the boys prepared, but you can't simulate Hermantown. I mean, there's just no way in practice, there's no way with the area that we're from to find a team that can simulate that. But I was really proud, the guys responded. Like I said, we held in there. You know, and I kept telling them, you know, it was only a one goal game after one, only a two goal game after two. All it takes is one goal and you never know what happens. When we made it 5-3, like I said, it just took that one next goal. If we could have got to 5-4, who knows what could happen. How, how disappointing was it they turned you over in bad spots on two of their goals? And is that something that you just need to really, you know, how to you deal with that? It, it hurts, you know, because that, that second goal they had, we actually had a guy in a breakaway. Um, our eighth grader, Jackson Nelson, read the play beautifully. He had Chess Mezzer, the sophomore, coming out of the box. And, you know, for some reason or another, he didn't get the sauce or the air on the puck that he wanted to. Instead, the defenseman picks the puck off, goes back the other way, makes it 2-1. to one. I felt like it would have been 2-1 to one us had he gotten loose because he was right behind that kid. But that's the way it goes. You know, we had a couple tough transition plays, but that's why they are Hermantown, and that's why they're the number two seed, and that's why I believe that they are a state championship caliber team because when they – make you make mistakes, they capitalize, and our guys learn kind of the tough lesson that you cannot give that team too many chances. Can you just touch on Jackson? I mean, because when he's out there, he doesn't look like an eighth grader, just kind of his potential. Uh, yeah, he's a special little guy. Well, I can't say little, he's 6'1". So um, uh, the thing about him, he just plays with so much poise. I felt as the game went on, he just got more relaxed. Um, I was really proud of the way he played. I was really proud of just kind of all year, he's been kind of, everybody kind of is skeptical of how good he really is, but he never has an ego about him. I felt he fit into our room really well. I mean, when you're an eighth grader and you're with a lot of older guys, you never know how that's gonna go. And it's just kind of the kid he is. He's very humble, he's very modest, and I, I think you are going to hear about Jackson Nelson. I think he's got legendary state high school um, potential. Gunnar, for you, you know, Permantown, whatever they do today goes in their record book. Whatever Edina will do goes in their record book. What's it feel like to be Laverne's record book and, and to, you know, setting, setting, this, being, you know, his, setting history for the program? Um, it was really fun playing against Hermantown. I mean, they're big and fast, but I think they're number one seed, or should have gotten number one seed. And uh, we gave them a run for their money. So it was, it was fun, but it's not how we wanted to end. What has this whole season and this whole, I guess, year meant to you and, and the whole team? Um, it's meant a lot. Uh, I'm a senior, so it's gonna it's gonna be hard after this tournament. But it was fun. Um, the 27-0-1 record was crazy. We got a lot of talk that said if we weren't any kind of team. We played no one. But mm, after we won the Schwann Cup, I thought something's gonna happen this year. Something special. <laughs>